What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Join us now as we look at the good, the bad and the downright ugly from last night's edition of Raw, as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including did AJ Styles bury the new world title, WrestleMania 40 main event leaked, rest in peace a WWE star, John Cena buries Austin Theory and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now, as always, we won't recap the show, but just provide you with the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good as number one, Cody Rhodes' injury angle. A raw kicked off with an injury angle with Brock Lesnar ambushing Cody Rhodes backstage. Virtually the entire show was then built around Rhodes' status ahead of Night of Champions. It looks like Rhodes will be going into Night of Champions on Saturday with a broken arm. WWE booking an injury angle for Rhodes was a smart move as it protects Rhodes if he loses on Saturday. Nevertheless, this likely means that Lesnar is going to get his win back and the feud between Rhodes and Lesnar will be continuing throughout the summer months. Number 2. Seth Rollins sit down interview and while some fans have been critical in relation to the lack of build towards Seth Rollins vs AJ Styles, the sit-down interviews that have taken place on Raw with Rollins have been tremendous. Rollins' interview last night focused on the sheer importance of the new world title, and the new title was portrayed as a huge deal heading into Night of Champions on Saturday. Number 3. Get a Life Kid and one of the more random segments on Raw saw Mustafa Ali cut a promo backstage, only for Brock Lesnar to hilariously interrupt him. Lesnar would shout over to Ali and state, get a life kid. It was completely out of the blue and it's always welcome to see Lesnar interact with other members of the WWE roster outside of the main eventers. Number 4. Finn Balor vs Shinsuke Nakamura As expected, the match between Balor and Shinsuke made for excellent TV. This would be a great feud to have on Raw throughout the summer months and it would be fantastic to see the two collide on a premium live event in the near future. And Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus verbally collide. A highlight of last night's Raw was the contract signing between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. Lynch delivered stellar promo work and Stratus is finally getting comfortable on the mic again. The match between the two has a ton of hype and hopefully it delivers. But that was a good what about the bad as number one, the SmackDown Women's title. Now it's still rather confusing as to why the SmackDown Women's title is the main women's title on Raw and it's also confusing why WWE have failed to build up Rhea Ripley vs Natalya for Night of Champions. The match was made official last night on Raw and the two have had two brief interactions on TV in recent weeks but it doesn't feel like a proper feud that warrants a match on a premium live event. Fans are having a tough time investing in Natalya being a legitimate and credible challenger for Ripley and WWE's presentation of the feud hasn't exactly helped this. Number 2. Lame Mystery Partner Revealed A common talking point on social media this weekend centered around who was going to be revealed as the mystery partner for Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Rather randomly before Raw had gone live on the air, WWE social media accounts announced that Matt Riddle would be the mystery partner and this led to fans speculating that there could be a swerve. Unfortunately, there was no swerve. And if the WWE had always planned on the partner being Riddle, it's unclear why they portrayed him as a mystery partner when he was almost the most logical and somewhat obvious choice. Riddle, Zayn and Owens would go on to defeat Imperium in a six-man tag match, giving Zayn and Owens a boost of momentum heading into their title defense against Roman Reigns and Sola Sokoa on Saturday. Now there was nothing ugly on the show, as WWE did a good job enhancing certain feuds ahead of Night of Champions on Saturday. The injury angle surrounding Cody Rhodes is an interesting one, and other matches such as Rollins vs Styles and Becky Lynch vs Trish Stratus feel like major big-time matches that fans need to care about. But what do you guys think of Raw last night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the news. Now first story looks at AJ Styles burying the new world title. Our top story today takes a look at recent comments from AJ Styles which are causing controversy. Some fans believe AJ buried WWE's new world title. During an interview with the New York Post, AJ had this to say in relation to whether the new title was secondary to the world title possessed by Roman Reigns. Is it a secondary? Well, if the Raw Championship is held by Roman, the SmackDown Championship is held by Roman, then how can you argue that it's not? We had to make a new championship because Roman holds them all. What happens if he decides to wrestle for the World Heavyweight Championship? It is what it is and we've got what we've got. If we make the best of it, and if and when Roman does challenge for it, we'll beat the brakes off of him. Whomever it might be, then we'll see what title's secondary. What you guys make of AJ's comments? Did his comments bury the new world title, or was AJ simply saying what everyone already knows? 
At least he has some positive things to say with the New York Post, as whoever wins the championship will give the WWE Universe a workhorse champion. This guy's going to be on the pay-per-views, he's going to be on the live events, he's going to do all these things that need to be done. When I was WWE Champion, I was on all the live events, I was on all the pay-per-views, all the TVs. That's what you do. The price for being the World Heavyweight Champion is, yes, you get the recognition of being the champion, but you also have to do the job of being the World Champion. You gotta be there and you gotta do your job. Next up, the new world title is the successor of Big Goldie. Speaking of the new world title, Twitter user Boozer666 has revealed what lineage the title will follow. He states that either Seth Rollins or AJ Styles will be added to the lineage that commenced in 2002. The new World Heavyweight Championship will have its historical lineage of 2002 onwards. Saturday's winner will be added to the title holders list. This means that Rollins or AJ will join elite names such as Triple H, Shawn Michaels, CM Punk and The Undertaker. Next up, top WWE stars cast in a movie. And last week, the wrestling world was buzzing after Seth Rollins was cast in the MCU. Now, two other WWE stars are getting a huge break when it comes to the movie industry. A report from Fight for Select states both Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan will be filming an upcoming wrestling-based movie in the summer. The film is based on the book The Queen of the Ring, which focuses on Mildred Burke, who held the NWA women's title for almost 20 years. Congrats to both Flair and Morgan on this huge opportunity. Next up, WrestleMania 40 main event leaked. We're still a long way away from WrestleMania 40, but a new report seems to indicate that Triple H is thinking ahead as to what match he wants to main event this show. According to the notable Twitter account WRKD Wrestling, the main event from the Raw brand could see Cody Rhodes collide with Gunther. While it's still early, discussions have taken place for Raw's main event for WrestleMania 40 to potentially be Cody Rhodes vs Gunther. Both superstars have expressed interest in working with each other in the past and are seen as the top face and heel on the Raw roster. Now the tweet doesn't allude to whether the match would be for a world title, but if this match is going to main event, you would logically assume that a world title would be on the line. Would you like to see Rhodes vs Gunther at WrestleMania next year? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, John Cena buries Austin Theory. John Cena was recently interviewed by Sam Roberts and during the course of the interview, Cena would discuss his WrestleMania 39 program with Austin Theory. Cena reveals some incredibly negative comments he made to Theory's face backstage and also compared Theory's work to early babyface work of Roman Reigns. I was really trying to hammer this home with Theory. It took Roman 10 years, 8 years at the top, push for 8 years for the light bulb to go off and be like, I'm doing it my way, I will work with who they say, I will hit my times, but I'm gonna be who I really am. When I talk to somebody like Theory, who has stars in his eyes and at 25 thinks he's got a long road in front of him, you really need to start now failing. Don't just perform, fail, like a lot and then one day you'll get it. You need to have like 85 suffering Sakatash moments. Fans can see through the BS if you don't believe in your character. It's what I said to Austin Theory, you're young, you're athletic, you'll work for this company, you do interviews. I don't believe what you do when you're out there, I don't. I said to him personally before I said it to him publicly, I'm serious. In a room with Austin Theory, I said the reason I came back to Boston is because you can't do this yourself yet. You cannot carry a WrestleMania promo yourself yet. If you fail, we waste the equity that I'm willing to give. A theory would go on to defeat Cena at WrestleMania 39, retaining the US title in the process. Damn, those were some harsh words to him. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, rest in peace, a WWE star. A Peggy Fowler who was best known under her ring names Peggy Lee, Peggy Lee Leather, Thug and Lady X has passed away. Fowler was a key figure in women's wrestling, appearing in virtually every major promotion in North America. Fowler passed away at only 64. We'd like to offer our condolences to her family and friends. And finally, Eric Bischoff blasts AEW. Our final story today takes a look at recent comments made from Eric Bischoff who has once again had something extremely negative to say when it comes to Tony Khan and AEW. On the latest edition of his 83 Weeks podcast, Bischoff would discuss how the new logo for AEW Collision looks similar to the classic WCW Nitro logo and Bischoff would call the logo a direct ripoff. The colours in the logo and the direct ripoff. That's what it is, as flattering as it may be, it is what it is. It can work and parts of me would love to see it, but having had some experiences in trying to recreate something, you run a very high risk. Bischoff would then state AEW trying to emulate WCW could backfire in a huge way. The risk of disappointing the audience if you lean too much into, okay, a night we're AEW, but man, we were born in this Nitro, whatever. We're an extension of it. A little bit of, it's okay. Too much of it will backfire big time because there's no way AEW will be able to deliver on the promise. What do you guys think of Bischoff's comments? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.